Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another gameplay review. Again, I do these on my channel, um, usually around noon Eastern time to start the stream. We take a look at someone's uh, someone someone's gameplay from the Discord. And again, if you're not in the Discord, check out the Discord link down below. They post the VOD um, or a YouTube video of, of a game of theirs, and then we review it live on stream. And then again, I try and put it on YouTube to help you guys out again. Something I want to focus on here big time is um, making sure that you don't pull your players out of position. So it's super important in NHL, especially this year, that if you select your left-handed defenseman, if you want to pressure the puck carrier, fine, but make sure that it, you're pressuring the puck carrier when the left defenseman is supposed to pressure the puck carrier. You're going to see a ton of examples of that. And you guys would be stunned at how many times an, an action where you're pulling someone out of the out of you know where they should be in the neutral zone that ends up being a goal against you know 30 seconds later all because of a turnover or a bad pinch in the neutral zone um you'd be stunned so we're gonna watch that today let me know what you think and again i appreciate anyone that watches these i'll see you guys in just a little bit let's take a look at maze jolt's gameplay all right so we're gonna watch maze jolt he's a div three div four guy and we'll see if we can't help him out here take a look at his gameplay all right, he's in the red here. All right, so first things first. All right, position awareness, all right? So uh, something that you got, I think like a lot of people struggle, uh, a lot of people struggle with is um, pulling their players out of position and attacking the guy closest to the puck, which is sometimes the move. Um, but if you, you know, take your right winger and you go and attack somewhere where the left winger is supposed to be that's how you create two on ones and mismatches and leave guys wide open so right off the draw and into the zone here all right so right here he attacks with his uh with his right defenseman probably not the play here um obviously you can try and get it you try and get the puck being aggressive the problem is that if you miss there's a there's a guy right down here so here's the next issue so he switches now he's got a two on one essentially against with Makar. Makar is the only guy back. This right defenseman, he's going to try and attack him. Okay, because that's like his job, right? So your job is to stick with these two. Your job is to stick with these two. And what happens is you go and do what this go with what your right defenseman's job is to do, right? Um, so now you've left this wide open. So in this scenario, you, you've you kind of started yourself off on a bad foot just because you know, it's going to be a two-on-one or you're going to leave a lane open here. But what you wanted to do was make sure that your left defenseman stays where the left defenseman's supposed to be, and that's right here. Then, obviously, he misses and he gets a goal against. So, I mean, that's a tough play right off the beginning, no doubt. Uh, but, yeah, you just want to be sure position awareness, right? So when defending, you don't want to pull your guys out of the position that they're supposed to be playing. All right, let's see if he gets one back here. <clears throat> It is in the draw here. Straight back? Yeah. So I like how aggressive you are, right? It's just you're you're overextending yourself, right? Impatient, essentially. You're just trying to get the puck back immediately, which is what a lot of people fall into. I need to see another break. Oh, that might have been a bad one. Yeah, man, and like, well, some players that's going to work really well against, for the most part, man, you're going to, it's not really going to move you up in the division, unfortunately, because it leaves you wide open. All right, quick shot on. Nothing wrong with that. That's... Uh, I can't see what's going on over there. All right, let's see you on the power play here. Let's see how he does on the power play. Okay, same thing. All right, so you got to let your AI, you got to let your AI attack the puck carrier sometimes. Uh, because, like, look, once again, if he pats, so look what almost happened here. Your dry side, your only guy is this guy. This is your man, okay? But because you want the puck back because you're, you're playing a little impatient, 
this is wide open. All he has to do is force this through, right? So in this situation, again, he's on his backhand. You could just cover this guy. And then once your guy is in position, like all you gotta do is move him over there. Once he's in position, then you can switch off and try and go and attack. Go Pocheck. Yeah, so here's another example, right? Here's it like this is something that I've been trying to do myself is to just chill. Like the less moving you do can really uh, can really help you out. Um because basically what you're doing is because you're impatient, right? You're trying to just attack the puck carrier, but you're making the first move, then the a, then the other player gets to react off of it and do and do what he wants, right? He's making you move first. All right, so this situation right here. So when you're Carlson, all you've got to do is just kind of sit at the line. Don't have to move, really, because where is he going to go? He's, he, it's going to be slow. Because the benefit, guys, of slowing the rush down in the neutral zone is just as effective as attacking the guy at the blue line. Because what happens is when you force guys to go east-west of the blue line, all your other defensemen and forwards are able to get back. You're giving them enough time. So just because you don't get the puck back, slowing them down to the neutral zone is going to give you a lot bigger advantage defending the rush and whatnot because you're allowing everyone to get back. So right here, you attack forward, and he's able to just move. If you just stood still, he gets the zone, but you're able to just guide him to the outside because now he's got a step, and he's able to fire it over. That's a That was a good intercept, though. What a pass. What's up, B-Wubs? All right, so here, here's something I want you to focus on, all right? You're going to where the puck carrier is instead of taking a route that's a slower time to get here, right? Or sorry, uh, uh, it's a, you know when like you lead your shots when you're playing like an FPS game? Same kind of thing here, watch. When you lose this puck, look what you do with dry sidle. You literally go just right at him, okay? If he starts skating, you're going to miss him, right? And he's just able to move the puck. If you go diagonal, because dry sidle's job is this guy right here. You're able to intercept that or at least slow it down. That was a good breakup of the neutral zone. Nice play. Okay, this was a perfect defensive play. Um... Um, this was a perfect defensive play until you get impatient. So watch what you do here. You're Phil Housley. This is your guy, okay? Watch what you do. Okay, you attack him at the line. He's got to make a move. All right, he gets into the zone, but you stick with him, but you don't overcommit, all right? This is what you're supposed to do because even though he's just messing around up here, it's giving your time for these guys, the forwards, to come back and play defense, which is key, all right? But then right here, all you need to do is back up into the zone, all right? Like, back up a little bit, all right? What you do is attack, and he's able to spin off. Now look at all the space he just created with all because you attacked him, right? You want them to come to you, okay? So now now you've got to have your you got to have Jack Hughes try and play defense here. And he's got you running. That was a nice shot. I mean, a crappy shot, but. When you pivot, when you pivot, dude, do you hold down A or X? I don't know what console you're on. Because I've seen when you've pivoted, you've stayed with the puck and stick open. Nice goal. There you go. That's a nice goal. Only L2, dude. You have to go. You have to go into the in the into practice mode and L2 with X, dude. It'll change your life. Go watch my advanced tips video too. It'll. I literally show you how to do it. That'll change, dude. That'll make you div too. That that alone will make you div too. 
you're going to lose the puck every time you do it, right? Nice play. I like that shot. That's a nice draw penalty. Uh, same time, Mr. NHL. You Again, just go watch my video on it. I think it's got, like, Svechnikov doing a, a, uh, or a Michigan. Wow, great animation there. Same, dude, just go into practice mode and practice it, dude. It's so easy. Like, once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. The auto backskate should always be off, dude. It'll hurt you more than it'll help you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you use behind the net. You haven't done this a lot, but it's just something you point out for. Point it, point out, uh, point out to. All right, so right here, right instead of this, like, dude, you have a place set up right here. So you go down low here, okay? Because this is like the odds of this getting through, just not. You know what I mean? You're just trying to get a shot on goal. If you pass down here, you've got this wide open. Or if they all fade over here, you can go back to me, back to this guy. It's like that's that's not gonna do anything. So you just want to make sure you're using behind the net instead of playing out in front. Nice shot there though. There you go. Alright, using McDavid correctly. Bang! That's a great goal. <laughs> Let's go. That's a great goal, dude. That's how you use McDavid, man. You just Self sauce down the boards, bang. Okay, here's what I want you to do. For the next five games, anytime you select your defenseman without the puck, if you don't have the puck, you are not allowed to press up on the left thumb stick. Okay? You're not allowed to do it. I want you to try it for five games, dude. Five games. That's it, okay? I want you to not press up with the right thumbstick at any point unless you're in the offensive zone with the puck. Because look what happens here. Dude, if this guy, if this guy plays any, like, all he's got to do right here is hit this dude, and he's got a two-on-one every time. Now, you get the poke off, which is fantastic. That Because like, if you don't, that's... So, see, now, dude, all because of that sequence. All because of you taking wrist line and running right at the other defender who has the puck. Look what happens. Dude, that's all because of that play off the faceoff. That happens a lot, guys, that people don't notice, is that... The plays and goals that end up resulting, like whether you get pissed off, it's a force or whatnot, or that sequence takes place, people forget how it actually started. That whole play started by him selecting his defenseman off the draw and running right at that guy. Even not, He even knocked the puck free and almost had a chance to get it back, but all of that took place because he ran at him with his defenseman. Like, see, right there you played pretty good when you selected your defenseman. You played the pass. That was the right move. All right, dude. So all in all, man, like not not a bad like offensively. I think you had you showed some really good things, but defensively, man, yeah, you you won't move up into like div two until you 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 become more patient with the puck. Like 
there's a couple of videos I have about playing defense and like the positions that each player needs to be in. Once you get that and stop running with your defenseman, never press up with your defenseman. Okay, you want to either attack at the blue line, and by attack I mean you meet the puck carrier at the blue line when defending the rush, or you need to just chill. Like you could select your defenseman and just sit. You know what I mean? But like I think that's gonna take your game to a whole other level, man. I think offensively you're not bad at all, man. You played pretty well offensively when you got your chances. But yeah, defensively you're just pulling your own guys out of position, shooting yourself in the foot uh, a little too much. So try that for the next couple games. I want to hear, uh, I want to hear what you what ends up happening. Uh, but no, man. Uh, I hope I hope that helped out.